representing Mark the Cyborg in Mean Girls. Do you remember about 20 years ago when everybody liked Tina Fey and everybody thought she was like the next queen bee of comedy and she was so funny coming off Saturday Night Live and uh, they released a movie called Mean Girls. It was funny. It was about high school life and this girl is, is a kind of an out of water um fish out of water story where this girl from Africa moves to America and everything is so different and it's fun and she sees things there's all sorts of metaphors in it uh how she sees girls squabbling like animals and it, it's just it was just kind of a I wouldn't say it's a classic but I would say it's it's a highly regarded movie y'all y'all thoughts on Mean Girls the original movie did y'all like that one I yeah. quote it honestly all the time get in yeah, Lisa, we're that. going shopping yeah <laughs> It definitely captured what high school was like about that era. Well, my era, I was 2000s. in high school like two years before that. You were in high school when it came out. So, yeah, no, I, I think it's a fantastic movie. Yeah. Funny and light. And yeah, it's pretty much sums up high school at that time. It's a pretty fun movie. Did, did, <laughs> did Mean Girls sum up high school for you, Mark? No, um, like maybe second year university because that was the year that I was in the movie Mean Girls. You were in the movie Mean Girls? Yeah, he was in the fucking movie. He just what? saw me in a photo presenting Mark the Cyborg in Mean Girls. Yeah, oh, I'm just there back he is. Movie, yeah. Wait, what? Hold on. I'm not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? What, 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 this is breaking news. What has happened here? He just texted yeah. me that. I had to switch accounts. So it took me a minute. Look at that. Wait, so baby that's Mark amazing. the Cyborg is right there in Mean Girls. Okay, well, yeah, Mark I'm actually that him. short too. What happened yeah. here? Like, how did that was, happen? Yeah, I just used to act in movies to make money and get experience in the film industry when I was in university because I was a film student. And um, yeah, Mean Girls was one of the jobs that both my sister and I did. And my sister actually was Lindsay Lohan. Oh, I guess I don't know if I'm allowed to say this. She danced in a movie with Lindsay Lohan where she absolutely wasn't her dance double officially. And, uh, why would you not be able to say that? I don't understand. Because it was that... in her contract to not get a credit because Lindsay Lohan had a pop album coming out. And so <laughs> oh they, didn't want, they didn't want anyone knowing that she had someone do the. She does a DDR scene, and my sister does like these crazy DDR things where she's like flipping around. My sister was a professional dancer, so she knows how to dance very, very well. And uh, yeah, so yeah, I've met her a couple of times, and she's kind of kind of nice, at least from what I can tell. But uh, Really shit talked to um, one of the other pop stars at the time. Like Hillary, I think it was Hillary Duff because oh, yeah, she like dated cute. her ex boyfriend and um, Disney girls like, accused her of doing a this lot of the things so that then it juicy. came out Lindsay Lohan was doing later. So I found that always kind of funny. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, that was well, it's crazy. That that was like that 20 in the years ago now, though. So I mean, thinking you know, that anyone would believe that Lindsay Lohan could actually do uh, intense DDR dance. I mean, like, NDA on her. well, I guess the thing is, like, the music label might have been like, hey, we don't want Dance Double to be a credit she has in this film. But I mean, my sister bought her first car because of it, because of not That's taking awesome. the credit. I mean, like, it was extra yeah, they money. Gave her more money for not credit. Yeah. That's awesome. Basically, yeah. Like, Wait, yeah, wait, so wait. I mean, that's my well, little Mean Girls story. Hold on, story. hold on. This is this is way more important, way more important than anything we were going to talk about with the stupid reboot. Okay. I mean, so no, you're, you're telling me, you're telling me that this right here, this this is not Lindsay Lohan doing no, all these sweet moves? Okay, so it is when she when it's like a close up, or I think even these wise when she's doing simple stuff. But when uh -huh. she starts like jumping over the bar and things, that's my sister. Right, 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 right. Well, that may, I mean that makes total sense. Yeah, right? Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen. Okay, so the you know, I, I actually did have another uh, bomb to throw in there. Uh oh, now, this, this movie is the reason why both uh, the characters in this scene, Lindsay Lohan and Megan Fox, were at my high school prom. What? Not even kidding. No did you dance with them? No, no, no. I had a girlfriend, but um, it, the so the, the only we didn't know who they okay so we we didn't we didn't know who they were the only thing we knew of Lindsay was hey that's the girl who was the twins in the parent trap like that's how we knew her we didn't think of her as like oh my god that's Lindsay Lohan from Mean Girls like geez it was it was not a thing and then Transformers hadn't happened yet so we didn't no one knew who Megan Fox was we found that out later we just Wait. thought that was Lindsay Lohan's friend Megan. Hang on, hang on, hang on. You see <laughs> Megan Fox, and you guys don't go there. Like, right, hello? right, right. No, I not, mean, like, 
Yeah, I mean, this is the crazy. Like when people, I, it's the free, thing I hate the most about. I'll, I'll say this. I think it's the craziest thing when people say, "Hey, no, there's the video game characters are designed to be too attractive. No one looks like that." No, that's incorrect. There's a lot of hot girls in the world, man. Like, and a bunch of them there's went to our school. One so Megan honestly, Fox. no, Lizzie Lohan and Megan Fox walked into the room, and it wasn't even like they were like stunning. They just, you know, they were two other girls that were there. Do you right? ha- did you go to school with like all the hottest chicks and like whatever? I mean, okay. <laughs> like you don't even give a shit school. that Lindsay and Megan are there. All right, I-, I went to an art school, so <laughs> that yeah. was a factor. But yeah, I mean, you know, Wait. But, like go to a bar, man. Most of the waitresses look as hot as Megan Fox. Like she's not that crazy looking. Wow, really. they must have a really hot a bunch of waiters and bartenders in Canada. I'm, I'm in Canada, where do you man. Live? Jeez, like, Canada. Like, we're we're the sexy people of the north. Um. You can't you're tell the, that you're sexy. You guys are always wearing toques and shit. There's no figure. Yeah, that's how we hide it. <laughs> Here's the thing about, about being sexy. Oftentimes you're crazy, which also lines up for Canadians, which is good. All right, let's get to the actual story here, though, because, Mark, I, I'm sure I'm sure that, listen, I realize that you're, you may be very close to this story, all right, now that, now that we know how immensely personal it is to you. So I'm going to need your thoughts on are you willing to appear in the reboot <laughs> of Mean Girls, which was which was announced. They, the first trailer was released. It is coming January twelfth. Say to Mark. Disney Plus. Say to Disney Plus, please. Uh, it is. It says nothing about to Disney Plus. <laughs> oh, okay. Because I was like, okay, yeah, it's gonna be terrible. If that's oh, that would make sense because Tina Fey is a SNL person and NBC is SNL too. I think it's a Peacock theaters thing. I mean, yeah, like, it- like I don't know. I, I guess I feel about it the same way I'd feel about any movie being rebooted. Okay, who's writing it, and is it going to be funny? Because no, yeah, don't, don't, be. don't give me that shit. Don't give me that shit, Mark. Mark, you know that this you have an immense personal connection to this, and that <laughs> yeah. you, if if you're not invited back to be uh, guy in background of dance scene number five, that you'll be extremely probably upset. like number five hundred. <laughs> <But, laughs> Are you credited in the movie, Mark? No, no, I was a non-union background actor. So, I, but it gave me a lot of time on sets, like checking out how things work, and you know, helped me out when I started making my own movies. Is does background actor just mean extra? Or does yeah, does background? Yeah, extra, it's an extra. It just it's means an extra. extra, right? Okay. Yeah, background is what they call it now, and some of them get offended if you say extras. But I, I, I never, I don't care, man. Like they literally are extras. Your living Why scenery you is what you are, and I mean that's it's honestly not an insult because like, set dressing is important. So mm-hmm. if you have a, a like a champ F Super Bowl, and there's 30 people in the stands, you'd be like, oh well, these are people. They're not set. It's like no, no, no. We need people to make this set halfway believable. Otherwise, it looks stupid because it's the Super Bowl and the the arena's empty. Come on, you know. All right. So they have announced the movie without Mark Cy- Mark the Cyborg here, which yeah, is just probably the- replace him with a one-armed black girl or something. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, it's, it's <laughs> basically like the other side of my yin yang. <laughs> <laughs> but Tina Fey is back. She is back in it. Apparently, she's the writer of this thing, so she's bringing it back. A new generation. Twenty years later, it has the the whole thing with Regina George and a uh, multicultural group of Why friends. Did it just use new characters. Like, why? Why make it Regina again? Yeah, it, yeah it's, it's a dumb. remake. It's so stupid. It's John literally Hamm. a remake, but the teachers are the same. The principal and Tina Fey's character are the exact same actors. Yeah, which is why they should just have it be a school and make it so that they could reference. Like, yeah, there was. Yeah, a like, oh, didn't we just do this shit like twenty years, 20 years ago? Like, yeah, something twenty like years that. ago, this happened, and a girl got like paralyzed. <laughs> right, <laughs> right, right. Yeah, it's it's odd that her name is actually Regina George. The exact like, twenty years ago, it's uh, Regina just a George. remake. Yeah. yeah, it's literally a remake. That yes. I mean, it's like the same script practically. The mm-hmm. only thing they could really add in like twenty years is there wasn't social media in the original Mean Girls. Right. So, yeah. I, I mean, I don't see any aspects. Yeah, of they're even doing the same dance sequences. So like, it's just, even yeah. bloodier, I think this version. My issue is I watched this trailer and I didn't see a single attractive person in it. No, they're all hideous. Uh, you know, I, I'm kind of with They're you. Just like, like normal looking people. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think that's, that's the thing. When when you look, I'm guessing this is uh this is the Lindsay Lohan character, Lindsay Lohan character yeah, over here. Probably. Right? right. What was her name in the movie? Katie oh, Herring. I know yeah. who she is. She was in um that one with Ryan Gosling and Russell Crowe. Oh god, okay. I'm forgetting the name of it. The nice guys. The nice guys. And um, she's also the the one who does the student 
announcements, PA announcements in the yeah, Spider-Man yeah, movies. Spider -Man movies. Spider -Man oh, yeah. No wonder she looked familiar. <laughs> she looks like the girl. She's the only one plays, I recognize, though. Yeah, she looks like the girl who plays uh, Jim's girlfriend in The Office. You know? Yeah, Pam. Andrea her, her, her Pam plays her mom in this in this movie. That's the oh. one thing that from the trailer that I think they maybe did well is the mother daughter casting. Like the actresses that play the daughters look very similar to the actresses that play the mothers. Like they mm -hmm. look like they could be related. That's maybe the only thing that I liked about it. Yeah, the ch the chick's name is Andrea Rice. She's an Australian actress. Yep, known for uh, Spider Man, The Last Thing He Told Me, Apple TV miniseries, stuff like that. I think there's a larger question here, and that when you look at something like this, this movie is it's not even 20 years old. And exactly. We're, we're remaking it. Well, Whether did that with Harry Potter? They're rebooting. It'll be a 20th 20th anniversary when it comes out in 2024. Oh, Harry Potter is kind of a different scenario, though, right? Because that's that's a big series of books that was condensed yeah. into a movie series. So there there is things you could do to make it. For sure. Yeah, but you, it's you it's not new... even 20 years old is my argument saying, like, come on, let things rest. And then maybe in 50 years, try. Oh, OK. I, I guess what I was saying more is that the, the silliness about trying to remake Mean Girls is most people agree that Mean Girls is a pretty funny movie. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I, yeah. I think that most of people are like, oh, Mean Girls, why would I watch that? Or like, it's like, no, no, you didn't watch it. It's like Clueless. Clueless was another one yeah. from mm -hmm. like 10 years prior that it was a movie about a high school girl who... I mean, I guess this one was kind of the opposite, where she was vapid and kind of learned to be more cool, but it was basically from the perspective of one of the mean girls. And mm -hmm. But guys watched it because it was a funny movie. And it gave yeah. us people like Paul Rudd. That was the first place I ever there saw him. chicks in it. Yeah. yeah it I have a story about mean girls. When I was in college, I had two best guy friends, and neither one of them had seen weird girls. And I was like, you guys have to watch. And they're like, oh, we don't want to watch this chick flick. Nah. And I'm like, all right, promise. I'll watch it. They watched it, and they freaking loved it. So it's not even like a chick flick. Like guys like this yeah. movie too. It's good and comedy. Like it's, yeah, everybody it's likes funny. it. It's all. It's like a well-rounded, funny film for everybody. Why are you remaking it? And the only difference is the diversity changes. Everything well, else is the exact same. Well, I guess we got to see what like. Do they have jokes? Do they have jokes that are new? And are they good? Is kind of mm -hmm. I guess the big thing. And I think the it risky kinda, thing about remaking Mean Girls of all things is like, why would you remake something that's highly regarded? Yeah, <laughs> it, it kind of seems like it's they're gonna kind of bring like a glee flair to it with some more musical, musical numbers. Yeah, musical numbers. Oh, no. Well, there is a musical after Mean Girls. Mean Girls musical, right. isn't there? Yeah, yeah so there I is, think they're maybe Broadway. blending that in there a little bit. Maybe. Well, I As, mean, yeah, but I guess that's significant. That's more, that's more a pretty big change. Do more TikTok videos, where right? Like, and uh, as the trailer says, it's a new twist from Tina Fey. Now. The irony on all that. Safe? Well, okay, the, but everything they show in this is the, is the original movie. It's yeah. like so. So whatever the new twist is, there's you know the twist is this guy's black now, or this girl is you know whatever. <laughs> Unique. And I mean, I don't the whole diversity thing. I I could care less. I really could care less. If you if you think that the the white guy plays the role better than the black guy, or the black guy plays the role, and whoever's the best, just give him the job. I don't really care mm -hmm. now. Obviously, social media is the one thing that has changed. But I think the question I have is, what the fuck does Tina Fey know about high school life now? She's like okay. a 55-year-old yeah. woman, you know? How like, old are her kids? Her, her kids are probably high school aged. Maybe. Yeah, that might be it. Yeah. Okay, maybe. Uh, let's see. Let's just see how old. So, so Tina Fey is 53 years old. So if she had a kid when she was in her she mid She started later. She's, okay. Yeah, she started later. Okay. All right. All right. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's where she's getting her inspiration from. Um, so her she she has a kid who was born in 2005. That put them at... 17-ish, uh, 18. So they've been yeah, in high school. 18. Okay, okay. Maybe that's where it is. Okay, all right. So maybe that's what the fuck Tina Fey knows I, It just feels very cheap. <laughs> it's a cheap thing to do for an easy cash grab. Are they going to have Lindsay Lohan and Rachel McAdams come back for... Oh, my God. Know, as a cameo, cameo or something? That'd yeah. be funny. They should. Also, Absolutely. the the girl they have for Regina, I can't. How is she the popular girl? Like she Rachel McAdams, look, you can believe, yeah. but mm -hmm. yeah, just kind of looks like a generic girl. But what do you think about this? Leave us a comment down below. We read every single one of them. Also, make sure you hit the subscribe button because you have found your home for common sense in the gaming and entertainment worlds.